Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by Professor Gamila Nostro, Professor of Cardiology from Suez Canal University. It's a very good afternoon to you, Doctor. Hello. It's always, uh, you know, I feel very proud to share, uh, you know, with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us. Now, of course, uh, Egyptian scientists, over 400 of them, have been uh, cited in a, a study that was held by uh, the Stanford University, which is a U.S.-based university, a list of the world's top 2% of the most cited scientists in various disciplines. This is a great achievement indeed for Egyptians worldwide. Let's talk a bit about the Egyptian scientists, in your opinion, doctor. Uh, what does ah. this say about the Egyptian scientists? scientists as a researcher? Well, we're very happy about this data because, you know, uh, lately Egypt has invested uh, very much and, and you know, uh, has uh, the most domestic investment mm. in the research work. And we know that when you are talking about, you know, achievements, you are talking about science. And uh, I think uh, there are many steps which have been uh, carried on in the last few uh, years in order to help scientists, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, promote the research. Yes. Actually, in the last years, with, uh, with Egypt, uh, of course, we do that, uh, you know, they are very talented. We have very talented scientists and, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, bright-minded. And uh, actually, yes. they just needed to, uh, to put them in the steps on how to uh, promote research, how to... Uh, Publish the research mm -hmm. because at the same time it's just uh, to, uh, to enable them to publish research. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So we, we're very happy because if you are talking about the uh, world scientists worldwide, uh, we, we have 400 uh, scientists from Egypt. This is an enormous time and uh, number and a magnificent number. This is yes. Very, very good. Absolutely. Doctor, let's talk a bit about scientific research in Egypt and how uh, uh, the, the recent administration is paying much more attention to scientific research, giving them uh, a larger space, more financing, uh, more attention, more awareness that scientific research is really the future in lots of different fields. How do you see the shift and the, the newfound awareness of the importance of scientific research and its support? Actually, I, th I think there are much more financing, mm. and maybe in Egypt, I think uh, also the encouragement, as I said, is very important, something that many universities are just uh, giving some, uh, you know, encouragement uh, uh, in form of money, in form of certification, in order to promote the Egyptian scientists and to, uh, to uh, do, uh, to publish research. Mm. And this is uh, very important also, uh, you know, uh, it just, you know, um, a, a lot of, uh, you know, <clears throat> achievements regarding the lab, the experimental lab, the, 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 uh, the, the way that people should be, uh, you know, dealing with the research and how the uh, Egyptian become minded with the research work. So I think there is all, a, a lot of administrative, uh, you know, steps which have been taken over, and one of these is uh, increasing financing, uh, promoting, giving money to those who are doing some achievements. So we're very happy about that. Absolutely. Doctor, what in, what in your opinion should we expect from our scientists, especially in this current stage of rebuilding uh, the country, developing uh, proceeds, uh, also in light of the COVID-19 pandemic and how scientific research has really come to the forefront of everything? Uh, what, in your opinion, is expected of our scientists here back home? I think this is very important because we're in a very important area. I think we have to tailor the research according to the needs of the country. Mm. Yeah, you, you should just uh, need to, you know, uh, to do a sub research with looking to the, uh, to the real por uh, purpose and it should be on the real ground. Uh, you know, we are should be fitting the real ground basis. Mm -hmm. You just, uh, and what are the needs of your country? What you need? You don't need work for something that's, of, of course, uh, very expensive investigations and so on. So, so we just have to look for the uh, effective, the cheapest, uh, that can uh, obtain, the, the, uh, obtain them easily. So I, I, especially in the era of COVID, and this is COVID, I think this is very important because, and also I think we have to, uh, you know, invest in the research for prevention because all the world has faced a big problem which found 
uh, that uh, uh, you know we need to promote health and we need to look for prevention. We need yes. To, um, to do a lot of work for prevention, much more than treatment. And yes. Uh, of, law, of course, the health sector is a real importance as well. Absolutely. Uh, doctor, what do you see that we've done here to encourage uh, the younger generation in scientific innovation? Yes, and scientific. Of course, the young, uh, you know, they are the future of the whole world. When you are talking about the young, you have to uh, just, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, put, you know, very important, uh, strict, uh, you know, regulations for the young to adopt the research methodology. You have to encourage them. You have uh, to think highly of them, you have to promote them, and you have to give them the system, put them for the system, uh, as well, of course, as real encouragement for them. Absolutely. And doctor, uh, scientific research is generally looked at as a state-funded uh, thing or run by the government, but really the private sector also has a very large role to play, whether it's in funding or innovation, uh, newer technologies, etc. What do you see the role of the private sector being in this current uh, period of scientific I'll research? I'll tell you something. The private sector is very important because, mm. you know, maybe in industry, for example, if you are looking, if you want uh, to have a research for some sort of uh, uh, an issue, for example, to promote industry, I think the private sector will, should play a big role for that. Mm -hmm. And Indeed. actually, it's a real partner because uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a stakeholder for the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the services offered by the research, of course, science uh, offers the solutions to many problems that uh, community faces, and uh, of course, the industry faces and, and the private sector face, uh, faces. So, this is very important. Indeed. One final question, if I may, uh, Doctor. Let's talk about the role of tertiary uh, education and the university uh, educational institutions here inside Egypt. How do you see their progression and de development uh, of the scientific research in Egypt? Of course, we have a revolution in scientific research. Abdel Fattah Sisi had, you know, very, very, you know, you know, interested in having the higher education easier than the first category as well. As you said, that uh, maybe in the, uh, a few years, maybe we'll have one, one, more than one to five in the in Egypt. This is amazing, and this is, uh, you know, encouraging. This is uh, uh, some sort of uh, great promotion to the scientific world, uh, scientific research in Egypt, Egypt, and, you know, uh, you know, he's promoting the way that we should uh, adopt in the coming years and one of them is the scientific research report. Indeed. Uh, professor Dr. Gamila Nostra, Professor of Cardiology from Suez Canal University. Thank you very much, ma'am, for joining us and for your insight. And uh, that's all the time we have for today, ladies and gentlemen. With that, we wrap up today's edition of Cairo Local Time. My name is Angie Mohamini. Thanks for joining us.